This video will give a complete overview of how Tower Water cleans a cooling tower. Tower Water starts their jobs early, as we believe that early is on time. We drive courteously, respecting others, and wait for the vehicle to stop before getting on the phone to notify the customer of our arrival. The truck has been prepared ahead of time for the job, as per the job site survey. Our team unloads all the equipment needed and makes sure to lock the vehicle each and every time you leave it. Whenever working on a cooling tower, you must wear the appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE. This includes safety glasses, dusk mask, gloves, and hard hats. After putting on the PPE equipment, you will go to the water treatment controller and unplug the bleed valve. Once back at the tower, add the pre-prepared chemicals to the tower basin, one at a time, making sure none of the added chemical sits on the bottom of the basin. Allow an hour for the added chemicals to circulate in the system until they are mixed completely. Also, secure the side hatch of the tower to keep the treated water inside while the chemicals are mixing within the system. After the chemicals have been fully mixed in the system, have the customer shut down the tower controls. Begin the lockout and tagout procedures. Lock the disconnects in the off position and tag them so that all trades know who is performing the work, the shutdown, and when it occurred. Now set up the rest of your equipment, including pressure washer, vacuum, fire pump, and connecting all hoses and electrical. Setting up the sump pump and drains. Always make sure that the drain goes to sanitary sewer as the cooling tower water cannot drain to the street. Always protect the drains so that no heavy dirt and debris goes down the drain potentially causing a clog. Use the sock filter on the end of the drain hose to catch the large debris. Finally, secure all drains so that when you walk away from the hose, it will stay in the position as it was originally set. Test the water, making sure all disinfection levels including pH and free chlorine are at least at the minimum ranges. This should be conducted every 15 minutes for the first hour before beginning the actual cleaning. This proves that the chemical addition was effective as is for your safety and part of the Legionella requirement to kill nearly all bacteria and Legionella in the system. These chemicals also help to interrupt any biofilm which can entrap dirt and debris within the system. Make sure to take photos of the system before cleaning as we want to show the difference we made to the client. Before and after photos should be taken of the same location at the same angle before and after cleaning. After an hour and your final test is completed, open the drain so that the basin and sidewalls are exposed. Before going to the top of the cooling tower to inspect it, put the rest of your PPE on, including your safety harness and fall protection. When climbing a ladder, be sure the ladder is secure and properly footed. Next, open the distribution hatches using the proper equipment so that all nozzles can be easily viewed and read to be cleaned. Be aware that distribution systems vary and won't all look the same, so get yourself familiar with all of the different variations. Complete with disassembly of the tower so that it could be properly cleaned. Finally, you are ready to clean the tower. Begin cleaning the tower system from the top down then outside to inside without damaging the plastic parts or stripping coating off metal surfaces. Try to clean every surface as long as it doesn't put you in danger. Include cleaning the cement and stanchions that hold the tower off the ground. If areas around the tower have algae on them, clean them off as well. Notice the tech spraying through the fans? This is why electrical lockout is required. Next, add the sump pump to the tower so that we can suck out the debris from the basin. To do this, put the sump pump in a low spot of the basin or an area where all dirt accumulates and double check that the pressure washer is set up correctly. Turn on the makeup water, drain, and begin pushing the debris from the outside basin to the inside while your partner directs debris to the sump pump. Notice the protective mask keeping water droplets out of your lungs. 
Use the vacuum to get the areas the sump pump won't reach and pick up the heavy metal flakes and debris. Take photos of your successful cleaning at the same position as the before photos. Once the cleaning has been completed, begin filling the system by shutting the drain and opening the makeup. For towers where your fire hose cannot provide high volume water, substitute the bump pump procedure. This is done by removing locks and tags from tower recirculating pumps and having the customer turn them on for 5 seconds, then off. Do this 2 to 3 times. Replace the locks and tags and quickly re-clean the basin of the tower only. Once the bump pump procedure is completed, contact the client to inspect the tower. Begin refilling the tower and have your customer inspect the cleaning. Agree that the tower is clean and sign the paperwork. Once signed, you can begin reassembling the tower. While reassembling the cooling tower, begin cleaning up the site and be sure to leave the area cleaner than when you arrived. Don't forget to drain the water from equipment and hoses. Bag and remove garbage into building's dumpster. Remove the locks and tags and have the customer re-energize the system and get the tower and units back online. Add retreatment chemicals to the tower, one at a time, as prescribed in the job notes. Remove the last tag on the tower fan's controls, but leave the disconnect in the off position. Don't forget to plug the bleed valve all of the way in. After plugging the bleed valve in, call the customer, informing that you are getting ready to leave the site. Ask them to verify the entire system is operating correctly. Show them the closed disconnect for the fans and let them know that the fan should remain off for the next six hours, so that disinfection can take place. Remain on site to watch that the system is operating correctly. Make sure you have secured everything and are prepared to leave the site. Contact your supervisor and let them know your job has been completed. During this cleaning, you have been taking notes and recording any adverse or unusual conditions present during your job. Your report should be at least 75% complete before getting back in the truck. As good practice, read the report aloud to your partner to make sure they are in agreement before completion and submission. Tower water when you need it done right from the start.